started doing a couple shows and, and when she got some time. So now she's doing her own show. Yeah, yeah. But there's there's different facets of it and okay, so anyway, um our show is for women we're Republican, libertarian, so we're on the right. But we talk about everything and I and it's important for everybody to have discussions right now. But with the show I've got a help show called Mad Help, which has nothing to do with politics and then another woman has a show on prepping which is really important because of all the natural disasters that have been going on. It helps people prep. And then we've got another host who does shows on uh, sex trafficking and human trafficking and trying to be an advocate for that. So, I mean, I think, you know, again, like no matter where your views are on politics are, I mean, everybody's got to talk about this kind of stuff. I mean, I've just always been on the right, so I'm, just, I'm passionate about fitness. I'm passionate about, you know, helping others. Um, so that's kind of, you know, what I mean. Yeah, but she comes to a lot of the events. So yeah, she's, I do she's outside of the events yeah. we don't know. Yes, and I do you know, uh, posting with Ryan. And then um, I'm a, I've been competing for like three years. I took a hiatus, but I'm going to start competing again. And but that's kind of, that Mad Health is more about just talk about fitness in general for like anybody who wants to learn. So yeah. maybe if you want to come on, I don't know, we just talk about, you know, um, trying to stay healthy and, and lifestyle. And, yeah. And it's radio? It's a podcast, yeah. So it's um, under the Mad Tea um, umbrella. So there's Mad Health, Mad, um, Prep. Prep, Mad, Prep, Mad Prepping, and then Mad Deep is the one that kind of goes into more of the, you know, the serious issues that are going on. Because, you know, child trafficking is really... In the United States, yeah. it happens. People don't mm-hmm. think that you think it happens somewhere overseas in another country, but it's... Yeah. Yeah, and then we debate every once a week about all the kind of crazy stuff that's going on. Um, so, to, to kneel or not to kneel. <laughs> oh gosh, well, that's. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got a different opinion on that, yeah, and I yeah. think everybody. I mean, everybody's got their right reasons for it, and it's just you know, but nobody's gonna agree. So yeah, exactly. On that, on that one. So. Yeah. <laughs> Is there even a name for them? I don't think so. Yeah. Why is there a name for them anyway? Everybody's had, I, I'm an in betweener because I was born in '61, so I don't identify with the baby boomers, and then after that, so there's after the baby boomers, it's with Generation X, right? No. Uh, Isn't there like with X or Y? But I'm so those this who, two years, so I'm an in-between. Those who grew up in the 80s. I'm, I'm, I was born in 67, so I'm like... Yeah, you're in that generation. I'm generation X. I'm 20 years later, yeah, so... I know, so I know. Don't remind me. <laughs> 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 you, you look great for your age. So I know. I mean, that's why I want to start competing again, because, you know, it's like, I just turned 50. I just turned 50. 40, then you're 50. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another thing. It's just like, I want to be an advocate, you know, to fall apart. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like to have the Mad Health show, because I want to talk about it. Because like a lot of women my age don't want to compete, but they want to be able to stay looking healthy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. You know, and then it goes into the fashion, right? No matter what, so good. We all want to wear Lululemon clothes. And <laughs> <laughs> no, no one wants to get old. No one wants to fall apart. So. No. What's what's the Lulu clothes? What is that? I haven't heard that. What's that? Lululemon. It's it's like. Yoga wear for people who actually don't do any yoga or working out. It's just I it's just so you look cute. Oh, yeah. people who and wear yoga pants and they don't even overpriced, like overpriced, yeah. like highly really? overpriced. Yeah, I need to know. See, that's why I hang out with you guys. I, I learned about it things. when I came out here to California because in Miami it's Planet Body and Margarita Oil. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So, so I out here I'm like Lululemon and yeah, which is actually a Canadian company. They're they're out of Montreal, I think, or they're, they're, they started in Canada. Now they're everywhere here. Like now yeah. that I've said Lily Lemon, you won't be able to pass any place without seeing Lily Lemon. Interesting. Paul says hi. He's back in the animal. We had six people on the last week. Actually, we're good. We got great responses. And then after he 
had so much fun on the show, we sat and we shot him on a green screen in that chair. And then we superimposed the baby music and he liked it. So he doesn't smile a lot because he's, he's got that Russian tough Canadian thing to him. I wondered what that was, yeah. A Russian mafia look? Is it Russian? Yes, exactly. A Russian mafia <laughs> look. And, you know, so they were, they were all hungry at the end. And I just want to go home and watch a movie at the end. Brian, we need to go get something to eat because Jenna was on. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, we need to go get something to eat. And then we went down to the British pub. Uh, the British pub right there. Okay. We were there until 10.30. No, quarter of 11. And then we drove down the hall and dropped them off. And then we shook hands on this set uh, of 15. So now he's going into Gelson's within the next two weeks. And then the Gelson CEO is coming on the show. Ah, well, that's not how I meet that guy. Yeah, he's coming on. Um, because they're only in a few places, and then I'm going to take it to Beloit, Wisconsin, to the film festival there, because they don't have a lot. And then, uh, in Beloit, this is where Diane Hendricks lives. She's the second producer. She's just a uh, woman in the world, so she's worth $3.2 million. Dollars. She's just a nice girl. So she helps fund a lot of uh, Steve Matthews. But she's a, just a wonderful woman. She drives her own car. She doesn't have to buy it. She would never know. She built it for a town of life. She was on the It's just beautiful. So it's a mini Sunday. Wow. It's two weeks before uh, the Oscar. So I'll be out there for either three or five days. And then I'm going to go to Plain Lake, Saskatchewan, Canada. I mean, I, it's very bold for Republicans to have a film festival because Hollywood is such a Mostly well, just tell me that is not. And there's a lot of closets. No, I mean there. I mean there are. <laughs> they're, they're just afraid to say stuff. Well, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so that. But but to be open Republicans <laughs> having a film festival yes. it, mm -hmm. is, I mean that's, yeah that must well, be tricky. Well, Rod, who started it 11 years ago, it's been successful from the last 11 out of 12 years. So 08 was the last the one the one year they had down here. But um, no, she's she's just that, and then she built up the town of Beloit, so it's like a rundown town, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden she just built it up. So she's very generous. So it's almost like she could be like David Koch, who mm -hmm. likes PBS, but the brother, the other Koch brother, doesn't like PBS. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he gives to the yeah. arts. Yeah. So you'll see Koch on a lot of the things. You're like, is that Koch? The brother's? Like, well, yes, it is. That's David, not the other brother. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the thing. So again, environmental causes. So that David Cole likes environmental stuff. His brother does not. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Two brothers, same last name, two very different houses. And very close. Yeah. Well, I mean, when it's your sibling, you know, you, you have to overlook certain politics if you are to survive as a man. Yeah. You know what I want? I want one of those shirts. Do they only have them in black? Uh, what's that? Do they only have them in black? For pretty much, but again, we don't ram ships anymore, so this is like a, a, a it's another discontinued, it's the old Sea Shepherd. They yeah, don't yeah. ram, unfortunately. Yeah. But I, I, I love gotta the show it now. It's so badass. Sea Shepherd. Awesome. And this too. So Richard Gang was came by, he couldn't be on the show because oh, he his manager, she's stupid. She has no idea what's going on. So they brought this type of thing. So what is this? I it's a uh, mountain ale. I, I have not had it, but I mix it with like uh, the apple cider type with like mango and lemon and, and, and apple taste. We had that good. Super Bowl. Yes. That was really good. It was good. And then so they have not your not your mom's apple pie drink, which I love. Yeah, your eyes will. Is, is that good? <laughs> yeah. And that's from Paps Blue River. So she tells and then he Paps in the US and then she tells the world's most famous beer outside of the US. So they're wanting to get into the market. So I can't be in all that stuff. So now you start to see them little by little pop up everywhere, which is good. And then the rock, he was at Olympia last weekend with his Seven Box Production company. So uh, it's good to see Oxana on. So I have Oxana for November 28th. So mm -hmm. She won good. again yep. this year. So she's coming on with uh, probably Boris, her husband. And uh, she goes, I'm going to bring Arnold. I'm like, I'm bring Arnold. I don't care. Let's see what happens first. So that's that.
So we have five minutes. Bathroom, anybody? You guys okay? No, good. How long are we going to be here? Is it hour show? Uh, we're going to do 15 minutes. I should probably get I thought we were going to start at 450. Damn, I wanted to. So now I have a show on the bottom. So it's like six. Okay. That's why okay. I didn't. I don't like to have a show before me. I don't like to have it after this. Now they have Vanderbilt pumps. Okay. Or Vanderbilt. 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 Vanderbilt pump fuels. Oh, they have a yeah. they have radio show? Yeah. Oh, I did yeah. that. I think they meant to do it after our show. Uh huh. It's just the show is So yeah, so no, there's no way yeah. you're gonna be going. Thank yeah. you. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm uh, in the middle of a, I'm about to start this radio show, so um, I'll call you Maybe after. Another week. Other, please go ahead or I'll call you after. The, okay. Umbrella back. Yeah. I mean, because each host has their own show. I haven't seen any mm -hmm. outside that, just due to time. Yeah, well, I, mean, I am just... paying attention. Huh? I am paying attention. It's almost like watching a film. You got something popping up twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> I have no time ever. That grind, that LA grind. Huh? Well, I have to do research and write stuff too, so. Oh, yeah. Um, And I've got my, you know, medical sales job too on top of that, so it's just a lot. It's all good. So we're starting at six or five. Just for starting at five, yeah, that's when we usually start. Okay. More product placement, because I don't know what else to film right now. Starting in like we're you, starting at five, right? You guys yes. inquired about Sea Shepherd. Here's some Sea Shepherd. Here's some more Sea Shepherd. I want to the show these. Show what? I'm gonna the show those. The, these. Oh, those shoes. Yes. Or er. she'll be able to just hold them up. Right where she these are awesome. Right where she these are so awesome. It's like Kango jumps. Kango jumps. You just they bounce away, on them. Yeah, they take away 80% of all impact. That's how I got into them. Because I have back problems and knee problems from all the years of impact yeah. fitness. So you can still burn anywhere. My clients burn, I burn about 800, but they're burning up to like 1,500 calories per class. Wow. Yeah, and they're fun. That looked like a workout during our little photo shoot. <laughs> and they weigh about two and a half pounds each, so it's a whole core wow. workout the whole time. And, and glutes. So that's basically like a personal trampoline. Yeah, so it's like if you, a trampoline or a jump rope people, the guys like to say yeah. they like jump roping. Yeah. But to me, it's like being on a trampoline. That's so why it's like rollerblade shoes on a. Yeah. Yeah. Like a ski boot, ski boot. Yeah, roller. I have a trampoline in my backyard. Yeah, so you like these. Yeah. Personal trampoline on your feet. Yeah. All right. We got a minute. I thought that was Ronan coming in too. Start. My turn for you now, folks. What do you think of it? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.